Hey everybody, this is Austin and welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting day because we're finally going to announce the prizes for the 2022 Project Mayor Guitar Build-Off. Now, you might be wondering why you haven't heard much from me about this contest since I announced it back in January. And that's because since then, other than me going back to work and also having to finish my own Project Mayor, um, I have been furiously trying to secure sponsorships for this uh, contest for the prize pool and have had little luck. Now, that was until about a month ago when I reached out to some friends for assistance. And since then, we have been able to have a breakthrough and I was able to get in touch with the people I needed to in order to secure some prizes. So today, I'm proud to start this by announcing the sponsors of this contest. First up, we have none other than stumac.com. You heard that right. Because most of you should be familiar with Stumac because they are the leading provider of luthier supplies and tools, etc. worldwide. They have a massive collection of tools, templates, hardware, electronics, and guitar accessories for just about any job. And I've purchased many tools with them in the past, including for my Project Mare build. And I'm so excited, honestly, that they have agreed to actually join the prize pool for this competition. Next up, we have Ian Davlin of Ian Hates Guitars. Ian Davlin is a world-renowned luthier and innovator in the guitar repair industry, whether that be developing new tools or hosting meetings with luthiers from all over the world to share knowledge and bringing on guests from other industries to talk about the possibilities of their applications to the realms of guitar. Now, Ian and I actually met in that circumstance where he actually brought me on as a guest for his Patreon members to discuss the capabilities of Fusion 360 for guitars. And we've pretty much been in contact ever since, and I am really excited to have him a part of this contest. The next sponsor we have is, spoiler, BHL Guitar Picks. Uh, BHL creates custom plectrums from just about any color, thickness, and material you would like such as Ultim, UHMW, Acrylic, Torlon, Composites, and many, many more. They have a store on Etsy.com where you can order from a pretty wide range of already available models, or you could contact the shop directly to talk about a custom order. Uh, BHL has also become a member of my Discord server, and we've been talking a lot, and I'm. it's pretty cool that they want to go ahead and provide, again, spoiler, some guitar picks for this contest. And last but not least, we have Nix Research. Now, Nix Research specializes in electronics, such as amps, pedals, uh, pickups, things like that, you name it. But they also produce baritone and seven string guitars as well. Now, Nix is run by Alexander Kartsanakis. Uh, Alex, I apologize if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, he is a longtime viewer of this channel. He's a moderator of my Discord server, and not many people know this, but he also helps me out on the back end by reviewing some of my scripts and plans for my videos before I actually start working on them. He has become a pretty close friend of mine, actually, and decided to drop some of his own time and money to contribute to the prize pool. So if you want to know any more about the sponsors for this contest, I will leave links down in the description below to all their websites or links, etc., so you know how to find them. But now that we know who's providing the prizes, let's go find out what they actually are. Here's how the prize pool is going to work. Each winner will receive a trophy made from the scrap wood of my guitar build. This includes the scrap wood from the body, the neck, and the fretboard. In addition to some general prizes that all winners will get, each prize package will contain a combination of hardware, tools, and accessories related to the scrap wood trophy for that part of guitar making. So things for making a body, things for making a neck or a fretboard, etc. So let's start with the general prizes that all winners will receive. First off, all winners will receive a free one-year subscription to my Patreon, giving you access to all past, present, and future CAD models that are featured on my channel, as well as access to my video schedule and a monthly one-hour Q&A where you can come chat with me about anything. Second, all winners will receive a set of NYXL 10 to 46 balanced tension strings. These are the exact same strings I purchased for Mare, and I thought they would be a great addition for whatever guitar you'd like to use them on. And third, all winners will receive a set of Assailant and Original HP Jazz handmade picks from BHL Guitar Picks. The Assailant model is a 3.5mm UHMW PE pick with an aggressive shape and grip, and the Original HP Jazz is a 4.6mm Ultim pick designed for comfort, speed, and accuracy. 
Now, here's the part you all have been waiting for. What are the exclusive prizes that each placement will get? So let's go ahead and start off with the grand prize, the first place winner. So the first prize that the first place winner will get is a hand-wound set of humbucker pickups provided by Neeks Research. These pickups feature Alnico 8 magnets, the windings measure 11 kilo ohms at the bridge, 10 kilo ohms at the neck, also have coil splitting options and an all black color scheme. Moving right along because we've got a lot to get through here, the second exclusive prize is a black hip shot six string hardtail guitar bridge with a 0.125 floor height provided by stewmac.com. This is the exact bridge I used for Mare and one of the highest quality bridges on the market. Also from stewmac.com, we have a guitar bench set featuring a protective pad and a dead blow neck rest. This is a great addition to any workbench so you can protect your guitar while doing installations, setups, repairs, etc. So the fourth exclusive prize is the Luth Sabre. Now the Luth Sabre is a brand new heirloom quality tool developed by Ian Davlin that allows you to scrape, scribe, and mark with precision. It includes interchangeable heads, a brass handle, fine height adjustment, and a locking thumb screw. It's honestly perfect for doing detail work such as glue cleanup, finish repair, and even transferring the fretboard curvature for making a nut. It's one of the coolest tools that I have come across in a while, and I could see potential uses for it all over my shop. So thank you, Ian, for providing that brand new tool for us. Also from Ian Davlin, number five, we have a one-year subscription to the Dinking tier of Ian Hates Guitars Patreon. This gives you access to monthly Zoom meetings with some of the greatest luthiers in the world and a ton of resources for guitar repair, building, and assembly. Like I mentioned before, I was brought on as a guest for one of these meetings, and I was seriously impressed at the level of talent that was there. So definitely don't underestimate just how valuable this prize is. So that's it for the first place collection. What an incredible set of prizes. The sponsors really went all out for this one, and honestly, I'm kind of jealous, particularly for whoever goes home with the Luth Saber, because that is my favorite prize in the whole competition. So let's go ahead and move on to the second place prizes. The second place exclusive prizes both come from stumac.com and first up we have a black hip shot closed gear six in line tuner upgrade kit. Now these are the exact same tuners that I used on Mare, though I purchased individual tuners separately for my 3 plus 3 headstock design, but the universal mounting plate that comes with this means that you can upgrade just about any inline headstock regardless of the tuner spacing. And lastly we have the Stumac Precision Notch Straight Edge. This is an essential tool for ensuring your neck is straight, for adjusting the truss rod, and doing fret work. Stumac makes one of the best notch straight edges on the market, so this tool should last you a lifetime. Moving on to the third and final place prizes, these also come from stumac.com. First up, we have a 16 inch fret leveling beam. This is different than your average leveling beam because not only is it precision ground for extreme accuracy, it's made from one inch by two inch stainless steel tubing, so not only will it last you a lifetime, but the added weight allows the tool to do the work for you instead of your shoulder. Now, I didn't purchase this for my build, but after doing more than three hours of leveling, I wish that I had. So I'm glad that this is on the list. And lastly, we have a stainless steel four in one fret rocker. Stumac's fret rocker is accurate to less than a thousandth of an inch and is one of the most indispensable tools for troubleshooting high or low frets. Definitely one of the most essential tools in every luthier's toolkit. So there you have it. We have the prize pool for the top three winners of the Project Mare guitar build-off. Now I really gotta say thank you to the sponsors, Stumac, Ian Davlin, BHL Guitars, and Neeks Research who helped me make this happen and invested your own time and money into this contest. I couldn't have done this without you, but we ended up with an incredible set of prizes that anybody would be happy to walk home with. So to those of you who are entering the contest, I just wanna remind you that the deadline for submitting your work, either via Discord, email, or a YouTube video is July 1st. So there's not that much time left, but for those of you who are late to the game and want to enter now that you've seen the prizes, um, there may still be enough time uh, if you get started, but no doubt you'll be cutting it close. So if you want to get started, I would start right away. Now, if you're interested in joining the contest, please go and check out the announcement video for information on the rules, how to submit your work, and the CAD files that, so you can get to work. Now, I will be off next week attending Summer NAM, so there likely won't be a video coming out until mid-June. 
But until then, this is Austin signing out.